there. Welcome my viewers and my listeners. It's another time that I bring you celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. I might want to start with letting you know my weekly schedule. It's Monday through Wednesday. I bring you inspirational word. Thursdays like today I bring you celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday I can take a break or bring you random inspirational messages. And I also want to thank God for the privilege of being who I am and for the privilege of being your friend I want, and my fan too. I want to thank God that uh, everything he gives us, he wants us to do something. Our lives, the way we were created, we were never meant to be stagnated. We were meant to be in motion, to do something acting beings just like our creator is an acting god he's always doing things for us so with me here as i'll be praying first i want to show you something i looked in the fridge and there was food i did not make this one i don't want to give myself credit there was food and there is and i saw there is leftovers there is rice and there is a steel which was made i have the steel here of I think it's fufu or something, whatever it was. It is or tofu and cabbage. And because of self love and self care, I decided to improvise. To improvise something. I looked in the freezer. What is there? I have celery, which I had already cut together with broccoli here. They are frozen. I have frozen peas here. And I have carrots and I have chicken here. All these were in the house. They are ready to go. I can take this rice warm meat and eat. But I want to tell you something. I want to share something with you. And so let's start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for the privilege of uh, knowing you and knowing that you love us so much and you want us to take care of this body. I want to thank you for my viewers and my listeners. I pray that they will be mindful of what they put in their body. Lord God Almighty, as I demonstrate this, I pray that somebody will be inspired to be able to follow such examples, to be mindful of the body you've given us, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Give me the strength and the grace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know, I can say I am tired. Now, because this is fried chicken, it has a lot of fat in it. Our bodies, you can imagine, it's like a car which you are supposed to put regular gas or petrol and you put diesel. You know what would happen. When we put all this, I want to, <laughs> you know, um, in our bodies, Especially, uh, by the way, this meat is good. This is chicken meat. And I will take it. But there is something. You can switch something. To, just changing. Because this is frozen carrots. And because time is of importance. I'm busy person. You are busy person, I believe. Let us jumpstart each other with artifacts. So what I did, I because I want to go with you along the way or you go with me along the way i decided to boil water so that this is not going to take wrong to thaw so these carrots you may not even need to cut them in pieces you're just going to put them in there yeah, but they are frozen okay a little bit of it okay and i'll put it back okay that is frozen carrots then i have frozen vegetables Peas, sweet peas, and I have what I always say when you have the time is like you are summer. I have here some celery. Is there broccoli? Yeah, there is broccoli too. So to save time, that they are all here frozen. I'm gonna put this hot water. By the time I boil it for a short time, it's gonna be good. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna put it on high. And as it's boiling, I will be sharing with you something. And because the steel that was there was fried and all that, I don't have to. But I can still use. By the way, I'm still going to 
put some more water here I might need it and then that way you save time you don't have to wait I, I, I know it's always advisable when you're cooking and you are making something from the freezer you do it in the fridge when you have a busy lifestyle these days we are living each one of us is busy I have spices here I have mixed spices I have turmeric I have chicken bouillon granulated and then I have what is this a complete seasoning there's a mixture of things then I have cayenne pepper now as that one is boiling I still did my care or oh, every day make sure you are hydrating yourself I have something here I have a cup of my favorite drink this is there is lemon orange honey here yes and maybe you are like me i don't like water but i know water is important for my <laughs> for my body so because a singer sang and said where do you when i want to more Water is important. Me as Pastor Florence, I don't like water. But I have to make sure I press on this body. Take it a little bit, another step. Take a step further to make sure you, you stay hydrated. With the lemons, there is vitamins. With the oranges, there is vitamins. And then there is honey. And I'm a sweet too, a tooth. And as we are talking that, it's because I have my vegetables. <laughs> they are doing, and as they are doing, I will read you something. I don't, well, if I were by myself, if I was not doing this <laughs> i would be singing and doing other things but i want to stay a little bit here <laughs> oh, i could have gone to do something else but for now i see let us inspire our spirits we encourage ourselves this book i, I like to read but i don't like to read big volumes of books this one the way the reason I have brought it and I want to share is because it ties up or relates with what I'm doing here or what you'd be doing. It is called, the title is God is in the small stuff and it all matters. Uh, it says here, stop worrying and invite God into the details of your life. The others are bruised and stern. Hey. Listen to this. I'm going to open La Dombre. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is... <laughs> God is amazing. I have opened and it has gone to page 51 that says, and I have highlighted. I'm a highlighter. It says, time cannot be controlled. You can control... You can only control yourself. Okay. Depending on your spiritual condition, being alone with God will either be unnerving or in infogorating. The other page says, and have highlighted, that's why I like to highlight. Rising early to meet the Lord gives you a jump on the day. Meeting God at night enables you to reflect on the day. Either option is good. If you hurry through life without giving God time, this world will seem like a hospital, a place to get sick and die. So, be still even with what you eat. Don't just rush to processed food. Don't just rush to... This was actually bought from the store. <laughs> I cook healthy food. And I want to tell you, some of my family members will look and say like there is no food and they jump for something. It's easy to eat this because there is, I can give myself reason there's no time. I don't have time, I'm busy. But you see, 
Because I started the day with God, I know my life matters. When you start the day with God, you'll always know that your life matters. You'll take yourself and you put yourself in a standard that God would look at you and say, I am proud of you, my daughter. I'm proud of you, you my son. I'm still keeping you busy. As we are, and we are not wasting time because the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, redeeming the time because the days are evil. I'm redeeming the time as I'm waiting this food, this vegetables to do. And it's, all, it's, about, it's about it's biting. And I will tell you, I'm not even going to fry. Why? Because this ch fried chicken have a lot of oil. But I'm going to make the food nice and smell good because I'm going to add the spices. I'm going to re read this one again. Rising early to meet the Lord gives you a jump. If you wake up and you don't rise up to meet with the Lord, telling the Lord I worship you, I give my life to you, you always feel, oh, I am so tired. You wake up, what you are meeting with, you are meeting with what you are confessing, you become Okay, it gives you a jump on the day. Meeting God at night enables you to reflect on the day. Either option is good. Hey, when you write, when you write down and you tell God, I thank you for the day you are reflecting, you are thanking God, you sleep in a mode that was switched to praise and worship and reflecting on the goodness of God. Then here it says, if you hurry through life without giving God time, this world, this world, many are rushing and hurrying up, going through the drive-through and all that. Let me tell you, this world will seem like a hospital, a place to get sick and die. But I refuse, I declare and decree that we shall reef to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of living. That's why we need to take care of this body. And need to take care of it. Now, my vegetables are boiling and now they are done. You don't need to overcook so much. Because when you overcook, you kill the nutrients overcooking. Let me just put that one there so it doesn't get water. Now, practice good hard hygiene. Because I'll be touching that food I will, and I touch the book. And have the soap. This is all important. You become a jump, a jump buster. You kill the jump by washing hard hygiene. Okay, here we go. Okay. And I'm very economical. When I buy the paper tile, I buy expensive ones, but I can reuse. I just wipe myself. Later on, I can reuse it. Being good managers of the resources that God has given us. Too funny for Florence? Okay. <laughs> okay. So now, my dear, I just, I'm just boiling the vegetables and I'll mix with this good stuff here. Let me get a, a, a strainer here. Hmm. <laughs> Let me just wrap because somebody said what I'm doing. It's okay. It's all good. We are together in this. You know, life is not so complicated, but we make it. We make it so complicated by saying, I have to be organized because I'm on the media. No, I'm human. I can forget, right? But it's all good. We are still celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. I have the strainer here. Okay. Here are my boiled vegetables, celery, broccoli, and carrots. Let me strain it through here. There you go. See? We have all those vegetables, right? And I did not cut on purpose so that you know. You don't always have to cut them. Now this, it may seem like I'm going to be boiling uh, by frying, but I'm not going to fry. So what I'll do, back here, okay, there we go. And I'll get my spices here. This is my cayenne pepper. It's there. This is the granulated chicken flavor soup based mixed. Not 
Oh, I know some people, like my son, when he cooks with YouTube, we always have to do the exact measurement and have a measuring cup. But for me, the older generation, we measure with eyes. This is mixed spices. I'm gonna put some. My do this is boiled. Then my favorite, turmeric. Give it that good color there. Then I have the complete seasonings. I always say when you put spices, be careful not to put salt first because of the sodium that there, it may be over salted, which may not be good. Too much of everything is not good. Okay, now here we go. See, there's no even onion. Actually, I ran out of onion powder. I could have put onion powder. But if you want to make it a little bit sweetened, you can, or maybe if you if you have to use oil, you can use either fudge, extra virgin oil or you can use avocado, avocado oil. For now, let me use avocado. Not, not much then the chicken my chicken now okay I did not have to warm the chicken because now the vegetables are already hot the rice I I would recommend if it is possible especially if for me, I don't eat healthy to lose weight. <laughs> I eat healthy to remain healthy, okay? So, but if you are that person who is keen on losing weight, using a, a plate that has compartment is good and which is shallow, not so deep. Because the stomach is like you just cheat it and it agrees. When the, this plate is full, it will... The, 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 the stomach will have a tendency to think it's gonna be full, you know, but if you use that uh, deep one, you might have a tendency of eating a lot, okay? So here we go. Now, look at this, it looks so good. Now my chicken is there. My vegetables. Which is celery, broccoli, Sweet peas and the chicken is there. The chicken is there. My goodness, looks good. My mouth is almost starting to water. Okay, now, 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 now. Let's have the rice. The rice is here. Rice is there. Oh, we can do this. I will show you why it has very compartments. Look here. So this plate has chicken protein, which was uh, fried, right? That's why I didn't fry. We have the vitamins here, okay, with fibers too. Then we have the starch. We have the three types of food. Hmm. Being mindful of what we put. Remember, I started by saying, when you think about a car and when you go to put gas or petrol on the other side, if it's a car for putting regular and you put diesel, you are in for trouble. That's how our bodies are. When you go to put just the chicken alone and then you put all those kind of things, it's like putting diesel in your car. But when you do this, you are making it, your body be rejuvenated. Remember the vitamins that are here, the celery. Ah. Oh, oh. I, I'm tempted. Let me just taste it and yeah. <laughs> and celebrating in the kitchen with pasta for rice. Ha! Ah, this celery is good. See. Hmm. See, I have the carrots. Mm hmm. The broccoli. Hmm. 
Ja. En de chicken. <coughs> nou. If you take these vegetables, you cannot tell they are not fried. But I avoided putting a lot of other stuff that were already added. By the way, I wanted to show you something. This chicken, if you do like this, it has oil that will be coming out. Why would you add more? And if you have to add, do like a salad, the way I did. I used avocado. You can use either avocado or, or olive. Uh, so, when we celebrate in this life, it praises God because you are of value. You need the strength to serve God. You need the strength to go to work. <laughs> I work hard and there is no way I can afford if I don't work, uh, work at this body. I work for my salvation. I work for the Lord and I work for my family and I work for my health too. Now, I already have enough of this. I'm going to keep it. And because of the kara, when you mix, when you mix the rice, I, I want to show you how that bread looks. It's so good. God is the one who started match and wear. Hey, things that matches. Look, let me show you that bread again. Now I had put them, I had separated them. It looks so good. Those caras, we have kara white. Kara white. That's the rice. We have kara green. We have brown because of the of the chicken. You see, when you're thinking like this, you even feel proud. If somebody was to come in a very important guest, you tell them, Oh, welcome. I would not feel ashamed. Have you ever cooked something and if somebody was to enter, you'd say, Hey. I can go back to Karaka to Kiara. Let me just prepare you something good because you already know what you are eating. <laughs> what you are eating is not good. good. Oh, you can say, Oh, you can get a done. What are you reckon? Let me. I just felt tired and I decided to do this. Man, I can go to Karaka and Mukera before you prepare for other people. Prepare for yourself. And I know God will bless you. I'm not, I'm not the one who cooked in the house. I, I'm, I'm grateful to God that in my house we have different people who cook, okay? But when I cook, I'm careful. Now, I'll show you <laughs> the vegetables that was prepared. But not to expose anybody, but I want to mentor you something, okay? Cabbages are very good. One minute here. Cabbages are very healthy. That's why I decided to make this. But when you overcook, when they when they turn white, they turn more, they become more of starch than vitamins. So when you and even when you buy, I know this is why we were taught, especially Christmas. Ah, this was the main side dish for chapatis. Ah, and then potatoes, eh, there and meat. But uh, well, the greener the vegetables are, the healthier they are. So I'm going to wind up. What can I call this dish? Oh, this meal. This is rice with carrots, sweet peas, celery, and broccoli. May God bless you. And chicken. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you that you've given us the knowledge so that whatever we do, we do with wisdom. Our health to deal with it with wisdom. Serving you, we serve you with wisdom. Serving others, we serve them with wisdom. God Almighty, even as we go to our work that we are paid for, I thank you. Even for my viewers and my listeners, I pray that somebody will be inspired to be cooking healthy. And even if it's vegetables, to keep them as green as they can be. Thank you for everything. I pray that you may continue to give me more insight and knowledge. I also want to thank you for the authors of um, God is in the small stuff. Bruce and Stan, 
This is a book that have really educated me a lot. And so God, I pray that my fear and my listener will also be inspired to read inspirational materials. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As I add up, I also want to remind you again of my weekly schedule. Monday through Wednesdays, I bring inspiration word. Thursdays, I bring you put, you know, celebrating in the kitchen like today in the Pastor Florence. Fridays, tomorrow, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Stay tuned. What you can do for Pastor Florence, pray for me. How do you pray for me? E.g. extra grace required. For sure, I have seen the grace of God being enough for me. No wonder God gave me this song that, and you can check it on YouTube. That is new to me. If you cannot understand that language, the good thing of technology, when you watch it on YouTube, it is translated. That is by the grace of God, even being arrived, because you arrive by the grace of God. Take your body and your health very seriously. May the Lord God bless you. Remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Whether you're in the kitchen, whether you are driving, whether you are walking, whether you are preaching, let us celebrate. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is my 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 strength. God bless you. Make sure you improvise what you have. And whatever you'll be making after you learn from celebrate your moment with joy, share it with others. Even now, when you're blessed by this, share with others. others. Prepare it in your house and if it, you can also add another idea or another recipe, the better let us know. By the way, there were no there was no tomato here because this other food had to tomatoes. Thank you. God bless you.